Okay, so I am back to uh, show you how to make these cute little ac felted wool acorns. As you can see, I have a bunch made already, and here are my acorn tops ready, ready to go. So I'm going to just set, set these off to the side for a second, and I'll show you how I go about um, rolling the wool into a ball. So the, the wool comes in, so for example, these balls and these colors were all included in this one pack here. And I believe I got this at Michael's. I got this quite a while ago and never did use it. I love the look of, of wool, felted wool projects. I just have not um, done it yet. So I did have this wool already. Um, so that came like that and then these I just got at my local grocery slash variety store like mega grocery store and they were on sale for 69 cents which is a pretty good deal I mean there's not much in there but um, anyway so so you can find it Michael's Hobby Lobby and I I'm going to show you how I do it so for this size, which is like the biggest one is an inch across and the smallest one is three-fourths of an inch. Uh, yeah, about this one is a, probably about five-eighths of an inch. So as I went along, I had these tops ready to go and I would just sort of hold them in there to see how it would work to, to figure out the size. So this is how I do it. First of all, right off in the corner there, I have a, a bowl of water. Um, I had seen some instructions that the water would need to be warm, but I haven't found that to be the case because even after you get working on it for a while, the water's going to cool off. But maybe to get the soap to disperse in the water, it needs to be warm. But anyway, I started with warm water, put just two drops, and I have I have the regular Blue Dawn dish soap. So put two drops of your dish soap in there, give it a little whirl, and then that's what you're going to dip your wool in before you start rolling. So I'm going to see what I need to work on. I think looks like I need an orange, so I'm going to take orange. And really, all I did was just guess. Um, I would, I would, I was just kind of going by like maybe pulling six strands out, just like that. But really, it's not scientific, and I can't really weigh it. But so this is kind of what I started with, like this. And um, if I had a large acorn cap, I would maybe pull another strand or a strand or two out and if I didn't have as big of a cap I would pull out maybe three or four so that is just a very uh, general general idea so you just dip it in the water you squeeze out the excess water and I have a paper towel here just so I can go like this to get most of the water out so you're going to start rolling it in your palms and at the beginning you're going to roll it just very gently and your hands are, are pretty far apart like maybe an inch apart and you're just going to roll it very gently at first and it's going to start compacting and then keep going now my hands are a little bit closer together it's going to start getting smaller and smaller and then you're going to start putting a little more pressure on it so you can see it's getting smaller and smaller until it, it, should, it should only take a few minutes it's not going to take a long time Hopefully I'm not bumping the table or I didn't bump the table. So you can see it's getting a little smaller. And now I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it. See all that 
training with preschooler preschoolers comes in handy play-doh okay so that is about right I'm gonna hold it up to like one of my maybe medium acorn caps and there you go I've got a, a cute little acorn so I think just a couple more rolls and I'll be good so there you have it folks <laughs> All right, so uh, just a few words about these acorns. Like I just, of course, you can just find these on the ground. Um, where I live, there are many oak trees, and so I can just find them on the ground. My son thought I was crazy. I, I was helping him with his paper route, and I started picking up acorns. He's like, what are you doing? So this is where I got those. But anyway, um, what I start, what I was going to say, what I was going to suggest um, so when they're coming off, like maybe you can even see on this one that it's kind of green. So most of them came off okay. Um, I don't have a, a whole one here to show you, but I can, you can just, you know, pull the cap off and it comes pretty easily, but some of them were kind of green and the, so the caps were on pretty tightly. So one method I did was just to take my craft knife and just, I just went underneath in about five or six different places and then was able to pull it off but some of them didn't work that way either and that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of dangerous especially for me I have a tendency to cut myself mm. so um, what I did was I put it in a 250 degree oven for about 15 minutes and that dried them out a little bit and so they're therefore it kind of shrunk this the nut and so they came off very easily then. So that's just a little suggestion on that. But I, I'm, I'm going to say goodbye for now. But I will come back in a, in a little while. And I'll show you what I did with these acorns. Hi. So <laughs> this is what you can do with the acorns. Um, you can just glue them onto the caps. And put them in a nice dish. And... Um, if you have enough, a tall dish, that would be so pretty. So you can just glue them in, and I'll show you how to do that. Or the other thing was to string them like this, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's get started. Let's do the easy one. To glue the, to glue the f felted balls onto the caps, very simple. Glue, you take your glue gun, put a little bit of glue, which I'm, of course, <laughs> out of glue. There we go. A little bit of glue. There we go. And then you just attach it on. You just push it in, and it is pretty instant. All right. So, super cute. Oh, all right. So the other way is to string them. Um, I used a baker's twine. And so I'm just going to get this ready. I have a large eyed needle. And I'm just going to put my end in there. Only on film. It's not going to work. Almost there. Still not there. There we go. Yay. All right. So the way to do this, the acorn tops, you can't just like poke this in. You're going to damage the needle or it's not going to work with the needle. So I just take a push pin would actually work great because it's got more of a sort of handle I guess but all I had was a thumbtack so I'm gonna just take take a thin nail if you'd like or or a push pin something like that and just pre drill pre make the hole and it's it's not too hard just push it in and then one directly opposite on the other side and then you would take your needle bring it down under the cap might need to work it a little bit this 
this baker's twine is a little bit thick but that's okay that's okay it still works and then you turn it over and just bring it up through that other hole that you made like that I had to work it just a tiny bit there and there you've got it and then after that step let me just scoot this over a little bit so you would string all of the acorn caps that you'd like on there and then simple just like before you put a little squirt of hot glue in there find a cute little wool ball and just attach it in and then you've got a cute little acorn and then I tied I don't know if you can see it I tied knots on each side but as I was going but I think that's totally unnecessary if you have thicker string like this because those those muffin top or muffin tops okay I'm hungry um those acorn tops are not really going to move too easily so I tied knots but I, I don't really think that's necessary so there you have it guys that's uh those are a cute uh a few fun and cute ways to make some wool felted acorns and subscribe to our channel like this video um lots more content coming soon and I hope you have a wonderful day Take care, everybody. Bye.